Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back with another video, and uh, this time I'm going to be doing an album review slash CD pickup slash, uh, uh, I guess you would call it a, a band merch reveal, I guess you would call it that. Anyway, as you guys may or may not know, today the new Fit for a King album, The Path, came out. And uh, I did pre-order it, and I actually got my pre-order of it yesterday. It's still in the package and everything. Haven't taken it out yet. I have, uh, I have listened to it on Spotify and stuff. And I just thought I would give you guys my quick uh, little thoughts on the new album. Sorry if I'm uh, kind of out of breath and look kind of disheveled. I actually just got home from work not too long ago, so I apologize for that. But before I get on to the album, I want to show you this shirt that I got with the new Fit for a King album. I think this shirt's pretty cool. It's got the, uh, that's the Fit for a King logo on the front. Then, uh, Trying to straighten it out for you. I think it says step step into the dark of eternity. And it's got fit for a king, solid state records. It's a pretty cool shirt. The only thing I don't like about it is the material. It's a very soft material, and I'm not really a big fan of it. But other than that, Let's move on to the album review, shall we? Now, when I first listened to this album, I'm not going to lie. At first, I was very disappointed. Uh, upon first listen, I wasn't really connecting with hardly any of the songs. And I didn't want to say that because, as you guys know, Fit for a King has become one of my favorite metalcore bands uh, since probably last year. Last year was when I started really getting into them and buying their albums. I know how a lot of you feel about Fit for a King, and you guys have a right to your opinion. But even I have to say that this album is probably one of their weakest ones yet. And I still feel that way after listening to it for a couple of times on Spotify. Uh... You know, they, they do try some different stuff on this album. They have some electronic elements, which I'm, I'm not a fan of electronics anyway. So that personally kind of threw me off right off the bat. But um, after listening to it a couple more times, I did it did start to grow on me a little more. But I like I said, I do think this is probably their second weakest album behind uh, Slave to Nothing. I'm going to talk about a couple of songs off of here. Uh, the very first song, uh, The Face of Hate, that's probably my favorite song on the whole album. Um, that has your typical Fit for a King sound. Uh, it's very anthemic, very uh, very in-your-face style. Um, definitely something that you would expect from Fit for a King. Uh, fantastic work all around the instrumentals sound really good um everything about it sounds good it sounds like something you would hear on dark skies which was their last album or something that you would hear on one of their earlier albums maybe even something from uh, uh death grip or uh, creation destruction a uh, really good opening song uh Next one I'm going to talk about is the song, uh, The Louder Voice. This has also become one of my favorites off of the album. Um, once again, it's very, you know, it's a, it's a pump you up kind of song. It's very, very anthemic, just like The Face of Hate. It's got a great message behind it. Um, there's a line at the very beginning, and I don't remember exactly how it goes. But it's like you you have two voices, the face, the, the voice of fear and the voice of something else. Basically, the message is like, which one 
are you going to listen to and which one are you going to choose to ignore? That's basically what the song's talking about. Wh which of the louder voices are you going to allow to take over? Which I think is a really positive and powerful message. Uh, like I said, it's very pump you up type song. Uh, the band does a great job over overall, and uh, I think it's really, really good. Um, the last one I'm going to talk about is the very last song called Vendetta. This is another uh, classic uh, Fit for a King style song. Uh, once again, you know, very, very in your face, very, you know, brutal, I guess. And when I say brutal, like, I know there's heavier bands than Fit for a King. I'm fully aware of that. But for Fit for a King standards, it's pretty brutal. Definitely something that would fit on their earlier albums as well, in my opinion. Uh, it's just very, uh, like I said, very powerful, very forceful. And once again, you know, it's a song that you can't really go wrong listening to. Uh, no matter what kind of mood you're in, especially if you're uh, mad and just looking to uh, unleash some pent-up aggression. Definitely a, a song for you. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to talk about. Um, like I said, this is not their best album by any stretch of the imagination. I do like the album art. I like the angel and stuff. That's pretty cool. Uh, if I had to give it an overall rating, I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10. Like I said, it's, it's very average for fit for a king. Standards. Uh, not terrible, but then again, not too, too great. But yeah, I would give it overall, like I said, probably a 6 out of 10, which is a little above average for me. I was a little disappointed, but you know. It is what it is. It's still a pretty okay album. Still got some good songs on it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and rest now. Like I said, I just got home from work not too long ago. Just wanted to make this video and give you guys my thoughts, show off that cool shirt, even though I don't like the fabric. <laughs> but yeah, 6 out of 10 for Fit for a King's new album, The Path. Uh, I want to hear what you guys have to say. Um, have you tried to check this band out? Have you tried listening to the new album? What do you think of it? Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Take care.